On the front of chemistry, the relationship between milkweeds and monarchs can best be described as an evolutionary arms race. As the milkweed family have evolved and changed in response to the environmental and interspecies pressures, these modifications have conversely affected the behavioral and morphological evolution of the monarch, specifically in the larval phase. While many scientists focus on the monarch's distinctive adaptation to the toxicity of milkweed, there have been a set of co-evolutionary battles between the two species that have produced the biological versions of monarchs and milkweeds we know today. Many vegetative plants have a unique cellular structure known as trichomes. These specialized cells resemble prongs emerging from the leaves and stems of the plant, serving many protective functions. In the case of the milkweed family, heightened predation from monarch caterpillars in the butterfly's early stages shifted selection pressures on the front of adaptation. With more caterpillars consuming the leaves of milkweed, having physical barriers to leaf consumption became a strong selective pressure for the milkweed family. In light of these interspecies interactions, the enlargement of milkweed trichomes became strongly favored. Specimens with mutations contributing to trichome enlargement exhibited a far greater reproductive success, eventually forming a dominant trait in the general population of many milkweed families. These trichomes formed a dense structure, acting as a physical protection for leaves. As a result, monarch caterpillars found themselves unable to efficiently consume leaves given the reproductive success of trichome filled milkweed specimens. However, morphological evolutionary mechanisms eventually proved victorious for monarch larvae. Mutations for stronger mouth organs at the larvae stage became ideal traits for survival in the monarch population, with subsequent specimens containing enlarged mandibles surviving at a far greater rate than those with smaller mandibles. With the gradual acquisition of highly strong chewing parts through evolutionary processes, monarchs took the upper hand in this evolutionary arms battle allowing them to overcome the defensive adaptation of trichomes. Leaf consistency soon became another area of potential in the milkweed's evolutionary arsenal. A thick sap-like juice called latex is a common defensive mechanism in plants, which makes the consumption of vegetative structures notoriously difficult for predators. In the case of milkweed, Traits contributing to greater viscosity would have two negative consequences for the monarch butterfly's caterpillars. On the one hand, they would slow the rate at which monarchs could bite into milkweed tissue, contributing to potential starvation. On the other hand, this latex could gum the caterpillar's digestive tract, causing developmental issues and likely starvation in the long run of the specimen's life. As such, milkweeds with mutations contributing to higher internal viscosity became favored by natural selection. After many generations of milkweed, Latex production in damaged sites became the dominant trait in many groups of the milkweed family, mainly as a response to damage from external consumption. The monarch's consecutive evolutionary trajectory was more so influenced by behavior as a result of these milkweed developments. Through cutting veins in the milkweed leaf, latex flow to the injury site would be quenched. Over many generations, mutations in the monarch's sensory system favored specimens that would cut off the circulation of milkweed leaves, thus reducing latex content in the desired tissue. In the wild today, it is common to see milkweed leaves cut or damaged at their pedioles. This unique behavior allows monarchs to slow the spread of latex to damaged regions of the plant, in turn consuming leaves at an efficient rate without getting gummed up by latex. Just as with trichomes, this unique behavioral adaptation reflects another battle in the coevolutionary arms race of monarchs and milkweeds. With monarch evolution having effectively hacked pre-existing milkweed leaf morphology, selection pressures on a more chemical front became favored. The response to monarch coevolution came in the form of chemical alterations, specifically with regards to toxicity in the milkweed's vascular system. In the milkweed exists a set of chemical steroids called cardenolides. When consumed in large quantities, these chemicals bind to the predator's sodium pump, which causes a series of adverse reactions, ranging from violent indigestion to potentially lethal heart palpitations. With monarch larvae continuing to decimate milkweed populations across North America, and previous morphological adaptations being outcheated by the monarch, mutations increasing the concentration of cardenolides became a highly beneficial defensive trait. With natural selection strongly favoring cardenolide-rich milkweed specimens, monarch populations found themselves at an extreme disadvantage. 
However, the gradual genetic alterations in the monarch's sodium pump help keep the evolutionary arms race running. Three particular mutations altered the monarch's sodium pump, which prevented cardenolides from binding to this crucial cellular component. Not only that, but subsequent mutations in the monarch allowed larvae to sequestrate these cardenolides, making them potentially poisonous and unviable for consumption to many predators. This critical evolutionary development helped sediment the concrete dynamisms between monarchs and milkweed. With nearly all other animals unable to consume this plant, monarchs form one of the only milkweed predators. As such, one can expect many other potential evolutionary trajectories to follow, should novel defensive or adaptive traits evolve in the coming generations of these two groups of life.